Hey, if you want to pass securing Windows Server 2016 related with Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, MCSE, I have some good advice for you. Stay tuned. Now the first part of this session carries a brief outline of the exam, its objectives and certification track details, while the other half includes preparation instructions. Now I assure you, this video will help you to get success in your exam. So let's begin with the introduction of 70-744 exam. And my friend Joey here is about to give you the brief overview of this exam, so let's have a look. This exam validates the ability to determine hardware and firmware requirements for secure boot and encryption key functionality, deploy BitLocker without a trusted platform module, TPM, configure the network unlock feature and BitLocker group policy settings. It also deals with the ability to install and configure the host guardian service HGS and implement an enhanced security administrative environment ESAE, administrative force design approach. IT manager, system administrators, and senior systems engineers usually hold or pursue this certification, and you can expect same job roles after completion of this certification. Now this was all about the exam outline, its associated technologies and the skill that are required to clear the exam efficiently. Now we will look into the exam preparation discussion. Now you must watch it carefully as this discussion is also best suited for professionals, those that have no time to prepare for their exam. Now the first and foremost important thing to know is that two types of people attempt this exam. First, there are those who are beginners and others who are professionals. Now the professionals have enough field exposure and they're intended to just authenticate their credentials. No matter what type of candidate you are, to pass the certification exam on the first attempt, all you need to do is practice the exam questions over and over again. So here's how to do that. The actual exam questions are available online as practice questions. If you can search this with your desired exam name, you will find many companies that offer such products. But beware, not everything that glitters is gold. So here is my advice on how to decide and buy good quality practice questions. Firstly, you should check if the product is updated recently or not. Secondly, try a free demo. And thirdly, see if they offer any guarantee. Now I refer you to PassITCertified.com who offer practice questions properly designed by subject specialists. Each question is worthy of practice and contributes in your learning. PassITCertified.com also offers you practice test software, which offers an interactive environment where you can practice questions as many times as you want. The practice test software will keep on monitoring your progress so you can keenly observe which areas you need to work harder on. Pass IT Certify have 100% money back guarantee in case of failure of the exam. Check their guarantee page for details. So this was all about our today's session. I hope this informative session will help you perform in the best possible way. I've placed exam related links in the description of this video for your convenience and I highly recommend you to try the demo of recommended products once. So thank you for making me a part of your day. Now good luck with your certification exam and I will see you some other time with more related videos.